Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dr. Kaczmarczyk, if you may, roll call, please. Mr. Caviston. Here. Mr. Jovan. Here. Mr. Jordan. Here. Mr. Masco. Here. Mr. Osborne. Here. Mr. Rivas. Here. Mr. Tarona. Here. Dr. Kaczmarczyk present. Dr. Smedley. Present. At this time, we will open up to the public. We have three submissions to speak this evening. Oh, I'm sorry. The board conducted an executive session prior to tonight's meeting regarding personnel. And now we'll open up for public comment uh, in the following order. We'll go Deb Nolan, Mason Norella, Holly Wiggins. Following public comment, we'll move into uh, nutrition and PTA. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm here tonight just to ask the board to, again, open up the discussion to the uniform policy. As we know, in the past, it has, things have changed, and Carbondale Area has done a great job in recognizing the needs of our families and our students in the educational matters. Now it is time to recognize the needs in financial matters. Uniforms are very expensive. The requirement for the CA logo on t-shirts costs $5 a piece to have it put on. I'm hoping that the board can go with board policy 900 for citizen participation and form a committee open to anybody who would like to participate and work together to come to a solution, not saying to do away completely with uniforms, but to make it more affordable for parents. The uniform closet is, in both schools, is desperate for uniform needs all the time. We, they're constantly giving local community, local community partnerships. No longer really get uniforms in as donations because most schools have done away with the uniform policies. They've moved away from uniforms and have just gone to a dress code policy. I'm hoping we can open up the discussion to just revisiting the uniform policy again. Thank you to everyone for letting me speak tonight. Uh, I just wanted to have a quick follow-up about the wrestling program. If anything is needed from me or any other following students that have signed to petition for the school for the school to get a wrestling program, if I need to show any more following information, or if I can help in any way to with the go or to help with the going forward of the wrestling program. Mr. Gabriel is going to. I met with Mrs. Sayre and Mr. Farrell on separate occasions, and we're all in agreement that we feel that before making a commitment, a yes or a no to this, that we, we're going to seek tomorrow, what's today, Monday, on Wednesday, I have a meeting with all of our athletic directors of, in the Scranton Wilkesbury area, and we're going to look into having a few clinics here first in the spring to to prove participation. While I agree that Mason has enough signatures and all those things, and I, I do see a lot of football players on that list that don't play a winter sport. Saying they're in interested and actually being interested at times is a different thing. So we wanted to make sure that after Wednesday's meeting, when I speak to the coaches and the athletic directors in the scranton wilkes bear area, that we see how could we run a clinic here, several clinics, and then gauge the attendance that's here and then make a recommendation. Um, going forward. So we're looking at what, what clinics would cost, whether they're here, because obviously we, we don't have a wrestling team right now, so there might be some things that we would not be able to have, for instance, headgear. We might be able to borrow that from, from other schools, or whether we put our kids on a bus and have a clinic somewhere else where all these things already exist. For instance, uh, the closest one might be Mid Valley and several other schools. So that's where we are right now, is that we're trying to uh, have a couple Saturday clinics, or if we have to do it at a weekday evening, 
to give students the opportunity to show up to sort of prove their interest first. All righty, any questions on that? Thank you for allowing me to speak and I hope you all have a good day. I think that's fair, right? I make sure we have, because we're struggling, we've been struggling with the soccer program, we're struggling with the, with the junior high baseball team right now and even fielding teams. So before we, nobody said no, but before we say, okay, let's go ahead, let's just make sure we can field the team. Sounds fair. Okay. Have a good one. about weight room and I, I do know you two gentlemen along uh, with some others have been working on weight room might be nice to give the public an update on that I'm going to give kudos to mr. McDonough on this one so I'm going to yield to him on this uh, he had a connection with his name is um, oh, Mike what's his last name Stevens. Yeah, I said not Mike Stevens from the Pennsylvania Road, but Mike Stevens from Fitness Headquarters. So Mr. McDonough had a connection. Uh, he knew he was our area rep, so he reached out to get the conversations started. So he's been a, very, a key player. I have to give uh, Donnie some credit here. So I'd rather him speak to it because while he and I are at all the meetings, he has another frame of reference as the former head coach of Western Wayne and having a student in another school district to where he had some of the more detailed questions to ask Mike from Fitness Headquarters when he had another weight room as a frame of reference. So I'm just gonna turn it over to Donnie. Thank you, Mr. Gabriel. Um, Donnie McDonough, I am your technology director, <laughs> but like Mr. Gabriel mentioned, uh, was a high school football coach for 16 years, had an opportunity to play Division II college football, been in the weight room. Uh, I am by no means an expert in this field, but uh, I had the privilege to be a, the weight room coach for multiple years at my former employer, and uh, still stay in very good touch with my mentors that I worked under in the weight room, uh, who are still big in uh, strength and nutrition. So we had the comment last meeting to look into the weight room. Um, the Mrs. Sarah, Mr. Gabriel, Mr. Farrell, myself, the business office kind of got right into sitting down and discussing that. Um, and right now, we all things are kind of on the table, and we're looking at a bunch of different options uh, for the weight room. Uh, we've had multiple meetings with the fitness headquarters, which is kind of our local number one. Most of our local neighboring school districts utilize them. Uh, I'm familiar with them from the weight rooms where I worked before. Uh, very knowledgeable, um, but uh, just, just so everyone's aware, we haven't kind of put that by the wayside. We had multiple meetings, and we're kind of, you know, feeling things out and looking at our spaces, the current weight room, other options, all things are on the table right now. So does anybody have any questions on that, or I can elaborate any? Excuse me, Donnie, last, at the last meeting, there was um, a student brought up about the Michi Michigan State had equipment they were trying to get rid of. I can speak to that okay. and then I'll give it back to Donnie. Um, I was in conversation with a Ronald Meaden who then pushed it on to Connor B. Moyle of uh, a weightlifting company who, in regards to uh, having some used equipment from a high school that was out in Michigan, and the principal out there did send us the specs of what they had available, even like what the equipment looked like. And Mr. Gabriel um, and Donnie also, they, they took and they looked at that along with me. Um, I think it's really important that it, when it comes to things like this, we look at every possible angle. Um, but I don't think the equipment was really kind of like what we were looking for. Well, and was, some that, of it really yeah. kind of needed fixed. That was my concern was, you know, mm -hmm. it's nice to get equipment, but if it's not the equipment that we need to do what we need to do, it's, it's not going to help us. That, that was my concern. Yeah, so this kind of led into a, a, a different... Sure, sure, and I agree with, with, with both of you. I think that we can do better than, mm -hmm. than used equipment, well, likely used. Yeah, used. Okay. Um, and from right now, I think today's meeting and discussion we've had, I'm, I'm excited, you know. From being a coach, uh, I think any successful program you see out in our area, the first thing you want to ask is let me see their weight room because it's going to be 
quality, right? And you're going to see a lot of a lot of student athletes in there. Um, you know, and, and I, I think we're we can really come together on our team and build a, a weight room that our families, our community, our students will be proud of, and our coaches will be able to utilize. So. And our phys ed teachers. Yeah, but no, I, obviously I'm I'm excited that I have been tagged to be involved in this conversation, you know, and, and share the knowledge I have about it with, with our team so we can get the best for our kids. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Patty. Thanks. So I was going to touch upon the lack of sports involvement in the school, but I think everybody here knows that it's becoming a major issue. With regard to what transpired at the last school board meeting, which I saw that you're going to address on agenda items, miscellaneous, B and C, I hope that you can all remember that everything is for and to benefit the students. With that being said, I saw a common theme emerge from parents whose kids have graduated parents of kids who are graduating, other parents who still have kids in the school district, saying that they can't wait until their child or children graduate or are out of this school. And you know what? I find myself saying the exact same thing, which I'm truly saddened by. I graduated from here and will be one of the first people to defend this school. As a parent, I'm disappointed with the school and the direction it's going in. I'm disappointed in the lack of education, lack of communication, lack of security measures, which I don't think if I didn't keep pushing for, we would have anything, lack of parental involvement, lack of sports participation, and the overall politics. My son is a junior, and I think if it wasn't for me asking about Johnson College right up here and getting in touch with them myself, this school would not have acted so quickly to get an agreement in place with them, which should have been done years ago. Students are being sent off to college not even prepared or need tutors immediately, and I've heard this from numerous parents. Do we have a director of curriculum? On a brighter note, I will say I was one of three parents who attended last Monday's parents' meeting. Yes, three. It was great to hear Mr. Farrell and Mr. Gabriel are working behind the scenes very hard to make sure that the education of our students is a priority and they're listening to parental concerns, especially about that study hall situation. Lastly, I was approached on Thursday about the front of the building now being a one-way entrance. I'd like to know since when. There are no signs that say do not enter. As a matter of fact, the sign up front shows an arrow pointing to your right when you pull in to head towards the office. I was told now that we have to go all the way around the building. I don't have a problem doing that. But you need to do something if you're going to tell people they can't enter where the sign says to enter, plus wouldn't this be an additional security concern sending everyone around the building? Turning right to go to the office is something people have been doing for many years. I watch people turn in it today. I think we have a lot bigger issues and concerns to be focused upon. Thank you. Do you know who, who told or Who told me? The, the new security personnel came right up to my window because I dropped my son off. That could be because he doesn't know the protocols yet. I'm, I'm He's certain. the one who told me, right. and I asked him. So, Jim, you're here? Yep. Yes. Yeah, so they are allowed to pull in and go right when they go to the office, just so you're aware. Based a, it was based a, basically on a situation that developed that's normally not there, right? <coughs> yeah, I wasn't there until 9.50 in the morning, so it was just me. Well, this, that's not a new policy. It's just a situational thing, right. right? That's what I'm trying to find out. I know we were always told to go around the building. <coughs> 
I don't know if that has changed or not. Um, that was something, Faith, you probably remember when we were instructed to do so under um, a few prior uh, superintendents to go around the building, not to turn right in. But I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. So the sign out front that has the right and it says to the office. To the office. And that is correct. The other way. So that's where I go. That to the office. Correct. So just, I don't know, you I might want to get some yeah, clarification on that. It's only one way past the office. It turns out it stops. And you then you have to go right. It's a, it is a one way around the school, but it stops at the end of the parking lot. That's the Correct. one, the beginning of the one way. Then it says if do you not come enter. in, you can turn and come back towards the office. Because people were actually driving this way all the way around. Well, yeah, no, I know there's do not enter yes. signs that way. I'm yes. just going around and turning to come into the school. So if something had changed, I would like to know, or we better get signs up somewhere. No, nothing has changed. We'll, okay. We'll double check on that, and uh, Mrs. Sarah will have a discussion with the building we'll principals and make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay. And, and if it, anything is changed, we'll put out the communication. So that's okay. Okay. Thank you. Nutrition. Johnny, you're next. Hi, everybody. Katie Galinsky, Regional Manager with Nutrition Group, and our Director of Food and Nutrition, Rosalind Durkin. We are here for something that I am so excited to announce. Um, uh, two years ago, the Nutrition Group started a TNG Charities program where we offer um, scholarships to some of our student workers. Uh, this year we awarded $11,000 company-wide and I'm really excited because one of our recipients is a Carbondale area student worker. We started uh, bringing student workers into the cafeteria and we uh, they become a nutrition group employee. Um, they, it is a paid student worker position. Uh, we have them in the high school and the elementary, and we've had about six in the three years. We absolutely love this partnership that you've uh, allowed us to bring here. So I'm going to turn it over to Rosalind so she could tell us a little bit about our recipient. I am also very excited to share this with Kevin. He is Kevin Sisson, the um, award winner this year, $500 from TNG Charities. Kevin has been such an asset to our kitchen. Thank you. Kevin has been such an asset to our kitchen this school year. He is dependable and always ready to work. Kevin, I'm just gonna have you stand up and join me in congratulating Kevin on this award. Thank you. Congratulations. Good evening. John D'Antonio Elementary School Pres PTA President. Uh, we're having our elections for officers for the 24-25 school year next month. Our regular meeting is May 14th at 6 p.m. All elementary school at our elementary school at the Parent Engagement Center. All are welcome. Uh, just a few items. Uh, field day is May 16th and 17th. Uh, volunteers are welcome. There are some requirements. You have to be a PTA member. You have to have your clearances on file with the elementary school uh, office. If you're interested, they, anybody can email us at pta at carbondaleareaorg We'll verify it with the office and I'll email you back. Um, the field day shirts have been designed, ordered, and distributed to all the lead uh, teachers. We're very early this year with that. I would like to thank Principal Duffy for the artwork for the field day shirts. I would like to thank Ms. Gallo for all the hard work she's putting into field day to make sure that the students have a great experience. I would also like to thank Mark from East Coast Specialty. He has again gone above and beyond to help the PTA 
at a great discount rate for each shirt of $5. The book fair will run May 20th through May 24th. We will be having a parents' night on May 22nd. And this book fair is the buy one, get one free. Staff appreciation at the elementary school will run May 6th through May 10th. And we will also have a staff appreciation day during that week with the high school staff. I just need to meet with uh, Mr. Farrell on that. The PTA closet, uh, again, has been being utilized on a daily basis. We are uh, still very uh, fairly stocked on the smaller sizes, thanks to the board. Uh, we also are running low on sizes six and up, but donations are coming in but they're going out faster than they're coming in. Um, I would like to thank Mrs. Y. She has a uh, donation closet at her church in Scranton, and she was able to donate approximately 40 to 50 shirts, uh, red and blue polo shirts, and I was able to get them embroidered, again, from Mark at East Coast, who did not charge us for embroidering any of the shirts. Uh, the sixth grade move-up shirts, also have been ordered. We're just waiting for the proof to come back on those. The students um, drew the, the, the pictures and then they were voted on by the, by the sixth grade uh, staff. Okay, and then um, lastly, uh, the grade, uh, sixth grade will be going to the Rail Riders game on May 8th. Uh, the PTA paid for the trips and the buses and we'd also like to thank Nutrition Inc. for supplying the bag lunches for all the students. That's all I have for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Johnny, please let me know what sizes you need. You can email me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Motion to approve the special meeting minutes of March 18, 24. Motion. Motion, Mr. Osborne. Second. Second, Mr. Caviston. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the March Treasurer's Report as read by Mr. Osborne. Uh, Treasurer's Report for March. Beginning balance $9,088,387. Uh, receipts. Transfer tax six thousand three hundred seventy, wage tax twenty six thousand four forty seven, porting off delinquent tax collection twenty nine thousand three fifteen, state revenue eight hundred twenty nine thousand five thirty six, federal revenue one hundred eighty one thousand four fifty seven, miscellaneous ten thousand six eighty nine, healthcare two thousand two oh five, interest thirty five thousand four twenty four. Total receipts for March were one million one hundred twenty-one thousand four forty-seven. Less disbursements for March of two million one hundred forty-six thousand two fifty-eight, leaving us a balance March thirty-first of eight million sixty-three thousand five seventy-seven. Thank you, Mr. Osborne. May I have a motion and a second. So, so moved. Moved. motion, Dr. Kesmarsik. Second, Mr. Jordan. Yes. Questions from the board. Roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve payment of the monthly bills. Motion. Motion, Second. Mr. Reback. Second. Second, Mr. Caviston. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Abstain. Motion to pay. carries.
motion to pay a stipend to Mrs. Jessica Osborne in the amount of $2,500 for the additional transportation duties performed within the 24-25 school year. Motion. Motion, Mr. Cavistan. Second. Second, Mr. Jordan. Yes. Board, roll call. Mr. Cavistan. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmorsik, yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes, motion carries. Motion to appoint the following coaches. Submitted by Mr. Gabriel, Assistant Principal, Athletic Director, for the contract pending submission of proper clearances in coaching training. Mrs. Denise Gordon, Assistant Junior High Track and Field Coach. Motion. Motion, Mr. Reback. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Questions on the board. Roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. to appoint the following individuals for the 24 extended school year program. Teachers, Mr. Ray Offner, Mr. Walt Walter Kolosinski, Mr. Jason Terreri, Mrs. Rita LaPera, emergency permit, Ms. Angela Pollitt, emergency permit, substitute teachers, Mrs. Juliet Lepre, Mr. Joseph Paris, paraprofessionals, Mrs. Christy Kawash, Mrs. Marianne Daniels, Mrs. Angela Phillips, Ms. Stephanie Mullally, Mrs. Carrie Neppa, Mrs. Joy Barron, Mrs. Danielle Nichols, Ms. Stacy Gregory, and Lauren Rodriguez. Substitute paraprofessionals, Mrs. April Evans, Mrs. Marion Critchley, occupational therapists, Mrs. Erica Morrow, speech therapist, Mrs. Rosalind Yakabalas. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kazmarski. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Tarona. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsa. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve 19 vans for the extended school year to transport to Carbondale Area School District, Scranton School for the Deaf, Children's Services Center, NEIU 19, programs as per contract with JW Transit Incorporated. Motion. Motion, Mr. Dolan. Second, Mr. Jordan. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to add Mr. Nazari yes. Myshak retroactively as school security as submitted by getting security effective April 5th, 24th. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kesmorsik. Second. Second, Mr. Reback. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. I don't have it here. Can you find it? No. Oh, there it is. Motion to appoint Mrs. Shirley Keel as a substitute paraprofessional for the district effective immediately at a rate of $15 per hour. Motion. Motion, Mr. Caviston. Second. Second, Mr. Osborne. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik, yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes, motion carries. Motion to approve 75% reimbursement for the contract between the CAEA and the CA School District in the amount of $1,425 to Mrs. Angelina Curtis for three courses and $945 to Mrs. Jennifer Dimchak for two courses. Motion. Motion, Mr. Masco. Second. 
Second, Mr. Taronis. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smedlick. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to grant permission to Mrs. Meg Duffy to attend the crisis preparedness on May 1, 24 at the NEIU 19, cost $60 registration. Dr. Colleen Sullivan to attend the Curriculum Leadership Academy on June 24 and 25 of 24. The NEIU 19 cost 625 and to attend the Alice training on May 21st and 22nd of 24 at Johnson College cost 749 for registration. Mrs. Heather King to attend the LETRS courses on October 4th, November 22nd, 24, January 10th, February 28th of 25 at the NEIU 19 cost 565 for registration. Mrs. Karen Pisarchik, Mrs. Heather King, Ms. Caroline Newcomb, Mrs. Francie Newcomb to attend the Literacy Institute New Users Workshop on May 9th of 24 at the NEIU. Cost 150, 150 for each registration. Mrs. Dorothy Hahn to attend the Intensive Skills Training and Evidence-Based Practices. Principles of ABA and Effective Instruction on June 5, 6, and 7 of 24 at the Luzerne IU 18, Kingston. Cost $140 travel. Mr. Michael Murphy, Ms. Nicole Kurowski, Mrs. Lauren Zavislak to attend the Back to Basics Independence Ben Seminar on May 7th, 24 at the NEIU 19. No cost, and Mrs. Leslie Staples, Mrs. Andrea Kinnick to attend the PA Smart Grant STEM celebration on April 29th, 24 at King's College at no cost. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kazmarsik. Second. Second, Mr. Caviston. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Rebeck. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smetlin. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the class trips and activities as submitted to the board. Motion. Motion, Mr. Caviston. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Board. Roll <coughs> call. <clears throat> Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedlick. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. We had a correction in the next one. The middle one is gone. Motion to approve Mrs. Joanna Grisani, Ms. Teresa Dombrowski, Mr. Corey Foote, Mrs. Chris Kozell, and Ms. Carrie Burrell to take 51 students to New York City on May 5 of 24 for a Broadway show and dinner, cost per student $150, fundraising being held to defray costs. The middle part has been removed. Motion to approve the first grade staff to take the first grade class to the new Animal Adventure Park in Harpersville, New York on May 3rd of 24, funded through the PTA. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kesmarsi. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Mr. Questions from the board? Questions from the public as I change the, the wording in the agenda item? Roll call. Mr. Caviston? Yes. Mr. Dobin? Yes. Mr. Jordan? Yes. Mr. Masco? Yes. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Reback? Yes. Mr. Taronis? Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik? Yes. Dr. Smedley? Yes. Motion carries. Motion to grant permission to the Carbondale Area Softball Parents Club to use the school parking lot on May 5 of 24. For a car wash with the rain date of May 19th of 24, maintenance fees will be charged if needed for building maintenance services pending suitable cleanup of the facility. So moved. Motion, Mr. Jordan. Second. Second, Mr. Reback. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. <coughs> yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion approved the 24-25 school calendar based on a starting date for students of August 27th with all teachers beginning on August 20th. The last day for students pending an unanticipated extension due to weather will be June 3rd. Commencement is scheduled for June 6th. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kesmarsik. Second. Second, Mr. Reback. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. 
Dr. Kismorsik, yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes, motion carries. Motion for the Board of School Directors to decide on a case-by-case -case basis for future recognition, contributions, honorariums, advertisements to be accepted by the school district or its booster clubs for any publishing or signage on school district property or in its publications. Motion. Motion, Mr. Reza. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to accept the recognition and well, I guess I'll just comment. So before before anything goes up into signage, it will be brought before the board at a school board meeting to be voted upon, starting immediately. I understand that correctly. Is that the motion? That, is that the John? Is how do you how do you read that motion that we That's just read? Right. So any publication and anything in the school district moving forward will be brought to the board at a public meeting prior to it being in the enforcement. Just so everybody's on the same page. Unless I'm reading that incorrectly. That's what the motion reads. That's what you agree, correct? Yes. Okay. Motion to accept the recognition, contributions, honorariums, advertisements to the Carbondale Area Baseball Booster Club from the Peanut Bar Spall Staining Solutions, LLC, Bill's Body Shop, Nasa Linen, Polished by JC, Ruther and Bowen, Engineering, Design, Construction, Carbondale Unico, Sicio's Garage, JP Mascaro and Sons, AJ's Bar and Grill, Market 33, the Greater Carbondale Chamber of Commerce, Mancuso Beer Barons, Bullage, CC Cleaning, Custom Tools and Spas by Derici, Holt Lumber, Carbondale Junior Chargers Executive Board, Carbondale Little League, Free Keen Association, Junior Chargers Football, Carbondale Junior Chargers Cheer, Dominic's Pizza, Adams Cable Service, Savino Construction, LLC, Ole Industries, American Legion Post 221, Jerome F. O'Malley, Wallace Electric Construction Company for signage on the baseball field for the 23-24 school year. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kessler. Second. Second, Mr. Jordan. Yes. Questions from the board. Roll call. Dr. Smedley, if you'll allow me, um, I've been advised by my wife to keep my mouth shut, but this isn't the first time I've not heeded her advice. I think uh, that the public needs to get the word out to the people who were misinformed about the impression that the board was going to uh, not be respectful of donations uh, and dragged the reputation of many board members through the mud, which is not unusual when you're dealing with anonymous persons who use social media to put out their verbiage and don't have to respond to it. But I think tonight's action speaks louder than the words of the uh, unimaginative who resort to social media to uh, promulgate misinterpretations of reality. Now, with all that being said, I can't imagine how that's going to be twisted around for the people who support social media. But since I don't follow social media, a very wise woman, my daughter, told me that that should be something that I divorce myself from. And it was interesting. She wants me to divorce myself from social media and not her mother which is even more encouraging, okay? <laughs> Michael, you see the humor in that because you know my daughter a long time. Thank you. Uh, so with all that being said, uh, I guess I will now go to roll call, Dr. Smedley, if yes, you sir. don't mind. Back at the children. Can I say a couple Thank you for your indulgence. No, go no, ahead. No. Go ahead, Jerry. I want to address Michael, too, with the, the Facebook... I had a laugh because nobody knew what they were talking about. And you were misinformed from day one. 
total totalize and in fact I heard uh, just this morning that I'm the fifth vote tonight to shoot you down news to me there wasn't a person on this board that I know was against this from the beginning then of course the poop hit the fan as you would say I know your family longer than you know them <laughs> I worked with your grandfather in the railroad 50 some years ago I've been going to the peanut bar, not quite when they were throwing the shells on the floor, but not long after. And you know we support you, always did, and we appreciate all your donations and all your time. It's just unfortunate that you got hit with all this crap, and I mean crap, and hopefully it's over now. And we'll get you going, okay? That's it, that's it. Anybody else? Mr. Tetmer, so take your mate. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Well, Mr. Yes. Masco. Yes. I didn't even wait. <laughs> Mr. Osborne. <laughs> yes. Mr. Rebach. Yes. Mr. Tarota. Yes. Dr. Kesborsik. Yes. And thank you for your generous donations. And Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. No, it has not populated on my old iPad. So I'm that talking. Could be like a, that could be like um, theater arts put on beautiful production of a musical. Correct. Something like that. Yes. Like this one. Mm -hmm. Cool. So get your uh, requests in early, since it's now already April. Motion carries. Federal consolidated Federal application. Motion to adjust the federal consolidated application to reflect the funding adjustment from the U.S. Department of Education for the Title I program for a reduction of 11495 and Title II, $717, to bring a final Title I grant awarded for the 23-24 school year to a total of $971,099 and Title II, $93,363, for a com combined grant total of $1,123,948. Title IV allocation remains the same. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kesmarsik. Second. Second, Mr. Tarotas. And what's important about this is even though it is a, a slight decrease, when I was in D.C. for the advocacy day with NSBA, or the advocacy week with NSBA in January, they actually had Title I and II removed from the federal budget at the time, which would be a drastic hit to us being, what, almost 1 28th of our entire budget. It, it's about one million dollars a year, Dr. Smedley, and every year there's a preliminary number, and it's not until the, uh, the the state passes their budget until we get the actual number, and that's why we're doing the adjustment this evening. Roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Rebach. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the final budget to the CTC Center for the fiscal year July 1 of 24 to June 30th of 25. Total the amount of the CTC general operating budget, 9,370, or I'm sorry, 9,372,352. Projected cost for Carbondale area, 286,510, which is an increase of 3,131 from the previous year. I'd like to make that motion. Motion by CTC Representative Dover. Second. Second by Mr. Reback. Questions from the board? Roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsik. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to open the food service bid for the 24-25 school year is required by the PA Department of Education Nutrition Division. I'll Doctor make the motion. Dr. Smelly, if, if, yes, go ahead. Second. I just Second, wanted Mr. To Osborne. Questions on the board? Kim. The Pennsylvania Department of Education, just so everyone is aware, requires Pennsylvania school districts that use food service management companies um, to bid every five years. 
the Carbondale Area School da District is at its five-year mark. Um, I'll be opening the bids after the motion this evening um, and be reading the guarantee or the profit. As of right now, there's only been one bid that's been received. Thank you, Dr. Smedley. Thank you, Kim. Uh, let's take a roll call to allow you to open up the bids. Don't do it until we vote. <laughs> yep, that's your right. Roll call. Mr. Cavister. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Reback. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kismorsic. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Let's go see what's going on now. David is at a conference in Pittsburgh. On our Esser's conference. And has a school board meeting in about 37 years. That is accurate. The only uh, company, it's been advertised in the paper, the only company that has submitted a bid, even after solici a solicitation of the specs, was Nutrition Inc. All right, Katie, if I, re if I read this correctly, the select the guarantee option is guaranteed profit. The amount of guaranteed loss or profit is 295000 And that is the nutrition group. Okay. Uh, the board will be scheduling a special meeting for the purposes of awarding a food contract uh, next Monday. Monday. Yep. Kim, in the binder, in, in the front cover, it's sealed as well, if you just will acknowledge the seal of the electronic copy. It looks like a card, very high tech this year. You flip the oh. card out, and that is the um, USB. It took me a minute to figure it out, so I wanted to share. So okay. you just flip the one end of it out. That's the okay. electronic that's the copy. US, that's the electronic version. Real good. And I think it's important to, to note, and Kim can correct me, That is correct, and that's audited each year. Motion to enter into an independent contractor agreement with Ms. Kira Molsevich for bilingual school psychologist services at a cost of $1,700 for full evaluation and $400 for each full evaluation and the second summary report in Spanish pending review by the solicitor. So moved. Second. Motion. Dr. Kesmarsic, second, Mr. Taronis. John, you'll be pending the review in Spanish. <laughs> the review's in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. they've been reviewed. Okay. Yeah. Um, Roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Mr. Yep. Revac. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsic, yes. yes. Dr. Smedley. Motion to enter into an independent contractor agreement with Ms. Danielle Campbell for bilingual speech language pathologist services at a cost of $1,500 for each bilingual speech language evaluation. Additional pragmatic language assessments and or scales will be an additional $100 per assessment or scale pending review by the solicitor. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kesmar, second. Second. Second, Mr. Taronis. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dobin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Revac. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmarsic. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the E-rate IT network infrastructure upgrades with the four vendors as presented. Total cost of project one hundred forty-two thousand five eighty-four sixty. E-rate discount forty-three thousand nine twenty-four thirty-three. Total district cost after the E-rate, 98660 The balance after E-rate will be paid for using ESSER's free technology budget. Motion. Motion, Mr. Revac. I'll make the second. Board, roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Delvin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. 
Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Rivas. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kazmorsik, yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes, motion carries. Motion to accept the June 30th, 23 single audit report from Brian T. Kelly, TPA and Associates. Carbondale, PA. So moved. Motion, Mr. Jordan. Second. Second, Mr. Osborne, board roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Rebach. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsa. Yes. Dr. Smedley. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to accept the resolute. Oh, sorry. Here comes. Motion to accept the resolution to request a public school facility improvement grant in the amount of four hundred thirty-seven thousand five eighty-seven from the Commonwealth Financing Authority to be used for sanitary lines and flooring in the junior senior high school and upgrade of the FOB system in the elementary and junior senior high school. Motion. Motion, Mr. Rebac. Second. Second, Mr. Osborne. Board roll call. Mr. Caviston. Yes. Mr. Dovin. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Masco. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Rebat. Yes. Mr. Taronis. Yes. Dr. Kesmorsik. Yes. Dr. Smith. Yes. Motion carries. Board old business. New business. Mr. Director Smith, would you like us to just give the public an update on grants that we've been applying yeah. for? Yeah. Yeah. We love the grants. Grants okay. are free. Free um, money. Yeah. Sure. So. Um, Mrs. McCulloch and I were interviewed by Senator Casey's office on Friday, March 29th. I know I was very encouraged. I think you were very encouraged uh, by the interview because of the, the positive feedback that we got about our potential project. Specifically, um, we want to do a complete rehaul of our playground at the elementary school that um, would have a community theme embedded within it, but we would be looking to have an overall um, ADA friendly playground um, created and an outdoor classman, classroom that would encompass some STEM skills uh, with a garden and being very trauma informed. Uh, I know Mrs. Duffy has, uh, that's her dream to have that outdoor, outdoor classroom. So we were interviewed um, and we talked about the playground being a hub in our community and we had several community members. Um, we had Mayor Bannon, um, Jason Mackey, the PTA, um, wrote a letter to name a few, and the senator senator's office loved our proposal and said it was exactly what they were looking to do. So we requested the full amount of $500,000, uh, which was the max for the grant. So again, this is us applying for this, so we do not have the money yet. We are not guaranteed this, but um, we put in for this grant that um, is, is hopefully going to be applied and offered also through Fetterman's and Cartwright's office. So that was one of the grants that we applied for that um, we had a very good interview with them. So hopefully uh, this summer we can give some positive news about that. Yes, and Dr. Smelly, that is the F, uh, FY25 appropriations grant. Um, and as I mentioned last month, the district received $35,000 for a two-year period for our continued continued efforts for security, $120,000 for, uh, for over a two-year period, meaning it's like $240,000, that will continue to do the fund for the behavioral position at the elementary school. The legislative grant, which we were thrilled to um, obtain, is for $600,000. That we, we should we receive by mid-summer, and that's going to be used to replace the long overdue bleachers in the gymnasium. On March 1st, the Department of Communi Community and Economic Development opened the public school safety grant. This will remain open until May 31st. The district, as it was just read by Dr. Smedley under the resolution, will be applying for $437,587. It is a 50% match project. Um, it's going to replace the sanitary lines in the high school that are the original, Mr. Osborne, um, from the early 70s, and upgrade the, hopefully, the high school FOB, Donnie has received the quotes, and install the FOB over at the elementary school. Um, special thank you to Mr. Osborne for assisting in the project in obtaining the estimates so that we could move forward with the engineers. We look forward to 
um, continue our work with EduConsult mm -hmm. and looking forward to more opportunities for grants. Thank, Thank you. you. Anybody else on the board? Dr. Smedley, uh, I'd just like to make a comment about how great it is to sit out and be able to see everybody seated <laughs> in the auditorium with the new lighting. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Well done. Agreed. It's been long needed. Thank you. How it looks in here. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion, Dr. Kazmarsik. Second. Second, Mr. Masco. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? One opposition noted. Mr. Jordan has voted no to, to adjourn. Everyone else has voted yes.